Hey everyone, this is Ben with the YouTube channel Random Insights, and in this video, I'm going to do a review and live demonstration of the Sony ECM AW4 wireless microphone system. Now, I have this microphone on right now, as you can see right here, so hopefully you can hear me loud and clear. And I'm gonna show you some things about it. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing, tell you what I use it for. Um, tell you a little bit about it and what cameras it'll work for and some of my dislikes about it. So I'm gonna try to be quick. So first of all, what do I use it for? I use this mostly for YouTube videos. So if you're looking for it for that purpose, hey, it's a good, uh, good piece of equipment. I can recommend it. There are some things I dislike about it, but overall it works well. I had a wired lapel microphone before I bought the wireless microphones. It's, I like how it gives you the freedom and flexibility to move around. Unfortunately, my other microphone, it only cost about $20, but it gave out on me. I, I, bought, I bought another one and it was a dud and they're just cheap quality. So I finally upgraded and, and bit the bullet and paid a little more. Now I will say that there is one wireless microphone system that's almost identical to this. This is Sony. Canon makes one. It's the V. It's the WM-V1 microphone. It's almost identical to this one in a lot of ways. It's Bluetooth. It has a long range. Comes with just about the same accessories. So if you're doing some price comparison and some shopping, you might want to look at both of those. They probably will both work with whatever you're looking for if you're looking for the Sony. Now, let's do the quick unboxing. First of all, this is the package it came in. Um, this package right here and that's all it looks like. And what you get when you buy this, you get a little windscreen that goes over this microphone right here to protect it from wind if you're outdoors. It came with like four different thick instruction manuals in different languages. Those things are thick and heavy. It came with, this particular one came with two earbud microphones. It has an actual jack on the microphone where you can plug that in and put it in your ear to hear the audio and so forth. It also came with a with an armband and a carrying pouch as well as an earbud holder that you can put that over your ear I guess it clips on something like that and of course you get the wireless microphone set which uh, I'm sorry the wireless microphone part and then it also has another part that looks just like this I've got it plugged in right now and that is the receiver and it comes with a small plug-in that goes into the 3.5 millimeter jack on most DSLR cameras and camcorders. I'll show you that in just a moment when I unplug it. And you see it's got a little blue light on right there. And then here on the side, you've got where you can plug in the earphone jack if you want to use that at the top. It's got another plug-in. I think that's for if you want to plug a lapel microphone and maybe put this at your hip and then plug a lapel mic up there. And then it's got the power on and off, and it's got a volume control right here. So power on and off, and then volume control, and it's got a clip. Now how I've been doing this, I'll just clip it on my necktie like so. It is bulky. I've tried putting it in my shirt, so you can kind of hear right there how the audio sounds. I've even tried turning it inside like that. One of the things that I did not like about putting it here is it tended to pick up a lot more of the sort of scratching sound of me moving around, and I did not like that. So that's one disadvantage. And again, I usually just clip it right there. I'll set it down for a moment right here on the desk. This is about a foot and a half, about two feet away from me right now, so you can kind of get a feel for how it sounds. I'll even turn my head a little bit so you can have an idea of how it picks up the audio. This is what it sounds like, and I will put it back on now and turn my head a little bit up here so you can see what it sounds like as I turn my head in this direction and this direction and talk. Okay, I think you have the idea now. Um, this does take AAA batteries, one for this one and one for that one. So you have to have a total of two AAA batteries for it to work. Mine did not come with batteries. I had to actually use those myself. I would recommend you get a large pack of rechargeables because it does go through batteries anywhere from about one hour up to about four hours of use. So it will go through batteries quite often. Get a pack of rechargeables for home use and maybe another good pack of lithium ions or some really good quality batteries to have if you have to go out or something like that or if you don't have any rechargeables on hand or they're all dead. Um, 
It does say, I think it was 165 on this model. I think the Canon got maybe 10 feet more of a range, but I think it's like 165 feet. I don't ever see myself being that far away from the camera, especially for the purposes of these YouTube videos. And I have not tested that, but I did see one video where someone walked very far away and it was still picking up great. So I would say that probably you get pretty close to that range at least. Now this will work with most camcorders and DSLRs. I do not have a Sony camcorder. I have a Canon HF-R400, I believe is the model number. It's just a simple consumer camcorder. And all it has is it has that 3.5 regular uh, jack on it and it plugs right into that. I just clip it onto the tripod and clip this onto my shirt and I'm good to go. And that's basically all you need. It, it's, it, excuse me it has the battery power in it which you need a lot of camcorders will have that phantom power and this works with camcorders that do not have phantom power so my canon any kind of microphone i use it has to have some kind of a little battery in it so that the microphone will actually pick up and it does work with that type of microphone so if you have a dslr or camcorder that does not have a power jack this is what you're looking for and it does work well with most brands and finally some of the dislikes I don't like how it's scratchy on the shirt. I don't like how it's so bulky. It does kind of fade in audio in some of my videos when I'm turning my head in one direction. I'm not real crazy about that. And I don't like how you have to replace the battery so much. But like I said, if you get the rechargeables, hopefully that will cut down on your battery expenses some. Other than that, I think it picks up quite well. I like the cam I like the microphone overall and I would recommend it. Like I said, it retails for about I think $150 to maybe $170. The Canon when I bought it, it was about $10 to $15 more, I believe, but they're both very comparable. They both are very well reviewed. So it just basically take your pick. Now, I'm gonna unplug this microphone real quick and show you what it sounds like without the mic in, and hopefully I can wrap up this review after that, okay? So now I'm gonna unplug it and show you hopefully what it sounds like. Okay. I hope that's picking up in the audio. I have it unplugged. This is what the receiver looks like. It comes with this cable right here, and it's just a standard jack. You can just plug it in, uh, 3.5 millimeters, I believe is what they're called. And again, it has a microphone part on it, and it also has the part where you plug in right here on the side. And I just clip that onto the tripod. So now I'm gonna plug it back in. I'll get back here for just a minute so you can hear what this sounds like whenever I'm doing a video with no microphone and then I'll plug this back up and hopefully it picks up everything so that you can have a good idea of what it sounds like. Okay, there we go. I think I'm back in now. So that's the Sony ECM-AW4 review. I hope this helps answer some of your common questions you might have and you can get an idea of the audio quality of this microphone. Thank you so much for watching.